Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me once again. I'm Karina. Um, things have changed a lot lately, so I'm gonna try my best today to do a makeup video. I don't do this from a frivolous point of view. I just want to feel better a little and make you feel better. And at the same time, who knows, um, maybe you know, also do something useful. This is not in jest, okay, this video that I'm doing. I think this may be something that, who knows, maybe we might consider for a while or anything like that. Obviously, I was going to Argentina in April of 2020. I had to postpone that, hopefully for the end of the year, but who knows. And... Um, one of the things that I bought for the trip, although I probably will be using this also in the future, you know, bearing any pandemic, but this company called Holistic Silk, they make uh, the, uh, you know, the masks, the sleeping masks in silk. Well, I got this mask. Okay which is the facial mask. Well, actually, I think this is the wrong way. Yeah, this way. Um, which obviously we will be using or might need to use in the near future. Um, these masks, this is a mulberry silk, okay? They do come, they have a pocket to put the carbon filter, which I haven't opened yet because I haven't used the mask. Okay. The carbon filter apparently is good for 30 days. Uh, looks like this is a PM 2.5. And yeah, at least, you know, you get protected against some germs. So I'm going to do a look for the eyes mostly. Uh, considering it for for the mask and um, I've you know did an under eye mask like I always do and I use a combination for my skincare of this Caudalie Venus serum is that one which is a brightening serum and I mixed it up also with this Oskia Get Up and Glow, which also just gives radiance. And I think that's what we all need because we're all very worried. I'm very worried, you know, about work and whether it's going to be there, whether it's not going to be there, whether, you know, you're going to get paid or not if you need to go or they send you home or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do today. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Nerves. Anyway, I'm going to start, obviously, the eyes. I'm just mostly going to do eyes. And I'm going to use a base. I'm going to use this by MAC. This is the classic paint pot, and this is in Painterly. This is just an awesome base. Okay, you can apply with your finger. I'm gonna apply it all over. These paint pots that you just set in place, and they really provide an excellent base for the um, eyeshadow to grab on. All right. So paint put there. Since the mask has some blue, okay. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this Huda palette, which is the Sapphire Obsessions. You don't necessarily have to match in blue. You can do a, you know, a very good um, basic color with brown. You know that probably with browns and neutrals would be good. But uh, you only live once, right? More than any 
more than ever today, that is a true statement. So I'm going to use these colors and I'm going to do a very festive look for my eyes, I suppose. And I'm going to start with this one, with this pastel lime green. And I'm going to use like a placement brush, loading only one side. This is one of those crystal infused brushes by Sephora. And use this thing. You're just going to pat it basically. So we're going to do the whole eyelid like that. Now, this is a very pointy brush by Coyudo. And I'm going to get this really glittery color here. It's a teal. Okay, and I'm going to go underneath. And a little bit here on the outer. And we're just going to like wing it slightly, but wing it into oblivion. Okay, like this virus, we're going to throw it into oblivion. And just like that. Um, to accentuate my crease, I'm going to continue with this teal theme. And I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use a rather very fluffy brush. This is a Sephora Pro number 27. And I'm going to fill it up not that much. And I'm going to test it in the back of my hand. And, okay, relaxing my, my eyelid because I have hooded eyelids. Okay, and just very subtly. If it gets too harsh, you can always, you know, soften the lines with a Q-tip. And, you know, it's kind of a crazy eye look, but remember where we are, we're wearing mask okay so i think the eyes need to be more expressive than usual i am going to use now the silver one here and it's a corner brush and going to apply it in the corners that would add like a nice touch of interest. So there we go. So I'm going to remove the fallout, which there's always some, you know, when there are these uh, really heavy colors. Although, let me tell you, these are very good, good quality eyeshadows. You, you don't get much fallout, but there's always some. I'm going to do some concealing now before I, um, you know, continue with mascara and stuff like that. I'm going to use this Maybelline. Okay, that's the texture. And this is a mousse concealer. And it's in light. I use the light, the lightest shade. And I really love the texture of the foundation, of the Maybelline Mousse Foundation. The concealer is a little bit harder in texture, but also it has a little bit more coverage. I'm going to use it for under my eyes. Um, this is not necessarily a concealer that you would use for under eyes. But, um, because it's a little hard, but in this instance, I think it's going to work. And I'm going to use, you know, you use patting motion, but also, you know, with your, with your brush. And I'm also going to use it um, 
as you know pinpoint concealing like this is my scar and some of the pigmentation for hyperpigmentation some I'm only going to conceal, you know, in this area because the rest is going to be covered by the mask. I'm going to blot. This is MAC blotting powder and this is pressed. So I'm just going to press on top with the provided, um, what do you call these things? I don't know. Sponge. Powder puff the buff I suppose so I'm just going to blot like this it does a very nice finish as you can see and of course I need to also clean my puff and the video on cleaning the utensils the brushes the puffs is coming up because I have a feeling that this is more than ever now the time to do that. So we're just going to do that in this area. And I'm going to fill in my brows. I'm going to use the Suku uh, palette. A mixture of the two colors. But I usually most this, um, the brown one with a touch of green. I'm going to define my eyebrows quite well because again the eyes are the focus here and I'm going to use also the Smashbox highlight shimmer for the eyebrows this is in bronze I'm gonna first comb them with this brush at the end and this is just basically a shimmer for the eyebrows. And again, you know, with a look like this, gives you a very, very polished finish to the eyebrows. I'm going to curl my eyelashes with appropriately colorful eyelash curlers these are from Revlon this is a special edition and they're just so cute and and the mascara I'm going to use this is a Clarins one it's brown um, I believe this is going to be because there's so much color I think this will give definition, but make it, you know, not, not very harsh. So <clears throat> that's pretty much it, the look. So I'm not going to use any uh, blush or anything like that. some lip balm this is also by nooks but it's the lip balm version that comes like in a lipstick it's not like the one in the pot okay but it is still the nooks red de miel i carry that in my purse and now there it is look for a mask for a face mask i'm going to take it off now i hope you enjoy it and that this has brought a little bit of light to your day in these present times i wish you all the best um i wish you all the best you and your family um have faith uh, this is something temporary while governments are working non-stop 
to better the situation because let's be honest I mean it's in nobody's interests okay so be positive try not to overthink things take care of yourself stay active exercise without stopping you know keep going just keep going um, one thing that I learned in the forest of Anlau in Alsace when I went in search of the famous Chateau d'Anlau and you can see that in my video in Europe um, the trip to Europe in 2018 there was a point in time <clears throat> I was in the forest all alone I felt like Rapunzel um, my GPS went down and the signals, the signs, okay, to get out of the forest, they're not particularly clear. <laughs> so um, I realized something that day, and that is that the only way is forward. So let's move forward, and hopefully, in the very, very near future, this will only be a Halloween look. Thanks for watching. I shall see you soon in my next video.